My name is Megan Battle. The book I have chosen is Amelia Bedelia by Peggy Parrish. And pictures are by Fritz Siebel. Alright, I'm going to read the book. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work and I can't be here, but I made a list for you. You do just what the list says, says said Miss Rogers. Miss Rogers got into the car with Mr. Rogers. They drove away. When, what do you think Amelia Bedelia will be doing in this book? My, what nice folks. I'm going to like working here, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went inside. Such a grand house. These must be rich folks. But I must get to work. Here, I stand just looking, and me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there a minute longer. I think I'll make a surprise for them. I'll make lemon meringue pie. I do make good pies. So Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. She put a little of this and a pinch of that into a bowl. She mixed and she rolled. Soon her pie was ready to go into the oven. There, said Amelia Bedelia, that's done. Now, let's see what this list says. Amelia Bedelia read, change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia Bedelia found the green bathroom. Those towels are very nice. Why change them, she thought. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do just what the list told her. Well, all right, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got some scissors. She snipped a little here and a little there, and she changed those towels. Why do you think Amelia is cutting the towels? There, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked at her list again. Dust the furniture. Did you ever hear tell of a, such a silly thing? At my house, we undust the furniture, but to each his own way. Amelia Bedelia took one last look at the bathroom. She saw a big box with the words dusting powder on it. Well, look at that. A special powder to dust with, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. Draw the drapes when the sun comes in, read Amelia Bedelia. She looked up. The sun was coming in. Amelia Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes? That's what it says. I'm not much of a hand at drawing, but I'll try. So Amelia Bedelia sat right down and she drew those drapes. Amelia Bedelia marked off about the drapes. Now what? Put the lights out when you're finished in the living room. Amelia Bedelia thought about this a minute. She switched off the lights. Then she carefully unscrewed each bulb. What do you think that she's going to do with all these bulbs that she's unscrewed? And Amelia Bedelia put the lights out. So those things need to be aired out too, just like pillows and babies. Oh, I do have a lot to learn. My pie, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. She hurried to the kitchen. Just right, she said. She took the pie out of the oven and put it on the table to cool. Then she looked at the list. Measure two cups of rice. That's next, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia found two cups. She filled them with rice. And Amelia Bedelia measured that rice. Amelia Bedelia laughed. These folks do want me to do funny things. Then she poured the rice back into the container. The meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the icebox and please dress the chicken. When the meat arrived, Amelia Bedelia opened the bag. She looked at the steak for a long time. Yes, she said, that will do nicely. Amelia Bedelia got some lace and bits of ribbon. And Amelia Bedelia trimmed the fat before she put the steak in the box. Now I must dress the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she chicken, said Amelia Bedelia. 
Amelia Bedelia went right to work. Soon the chicken was finished. That is where I'm going to stop with this book. The final questions I'm going to ask are, why do you think she is doing all of these things differently? And how did they react to the way Amelia did things? All right. This part is part two. The setting is at the Rogers house. It's important is... Importance is that it is where she does all of her housework, and if she has, had done it elsewhere, like a park, it wouldn't make the story as funny as it was. An exciting part of the book is when she says the meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the icebox, and please dress the chicken. This can engage the readers to ask questions like, what will she do with the chicken, or what will she dress the chicken in? My presentation met three of the critical thinking strategies. They are thinking independently, analyzing actions, and making plausible inferences. Thank you.